or it has been passed down to you within your family. This natural hair industry has been my family. And I've received an inheritance through this industry. And it's been passed down to me by the mentors and the elders of this industry. And I feel like the inheritance is slipping away from my family. Mm. I've invited Nikina and Ona to the conversations because they were a part of the inheritance that was passed down to me. They are two of hundreds of my big sisters who have passed down information to me. And they have been consistent in their commitment in this industry. They have been keepers of the culture and they have been fervent truth tellers. So I like to deal with the truth. I don't like a whole lot of story. And these two sisters um, have given me a lot to the artist, the person, the stylist that I am today. And um, I want the, to reintroduce them to the community um, to recognize and acknowledge their value. Oh, I feel that. Wow. I feel that. That's beautiful. How does that make you feel, Nikina? And tell me, what is the what is the inheritance that has been passed down to you? Well, you know, it's interesting. You are right on point because in 1985, I went to heal thyself. Queen of Fu is uh, heal thyself, and I was summoned to go there by my son's father, Niall, who said I heard this the sisters on the radio talking about locks and the, the antennas and all this stuff and they're going to be at Heal Thyself and you have to go. So I went and my mentor, the person who brought me into this gateway, Sayini Morningstar, was there. And I'm, I, it's too much to tell because we have a lot to cover. But one point that he talked about in, inheritance, what she said was that she was a cultural preservationist. And I was about to look, try to look that up before we got on. I did a little quick research on a few points. But what he's, and maybe I'm getting ahead of the conversation because culture, right? Two people, she was my direct mentor who brought this, com she put it in a house of cultural preservation that was given to her by dreams through an a, a, a ancestor panel of hairdressers. She was in a music industry. She had no interest in it. It came upon her, and she had to bring it forward. And I was in the room. And she actually prophesied at the end of the thing and said that I was going to do something with it because that wasn't my field. I'm a social worker by profession. So that was my introduction to cultural preservation. And then I'm going to bring this point in, and I'm because we want to talk about culture to some degree. I won't, I won't go any further. I'll just stay right there. But yeah, so inheritance to me is divine inheritance. Whenever I hear inheritance, it's always divine inheritance with it because that is our birthright by God Almighty. It takes no gifting, uh, appropriation, sanctioning from anybody or anyone outside of us as human beings and the spiritual house on this planet. Okay, thank you for that. Miss mm. Anna, <laughs> can you tell us what, what, what hair inheritance means to you? And tell us a little bit about the legacy that was passed on to you. Well, um, the inheritance, there's so many things. I mean, to reach back in an ancient culture of um, ancient Egypt, uh, I have behind me Queen Kuwit. Yes, we see it. Yes. <laughs> um, getting her locks done. And I discovered that at, at 
at um, the Schomburg Center for Inter Black Culture and Cult Black Culture and Research.